I'm Tom Halleck. Here's a look at Week 11 in the Canadian Junior Football League. We start in the Prairie Football Conference. Regan Schuler scored a pair of touchdowns to lift the Saskatoon Hilltops to a 22-0 second quarter lead. However, it was the Edmonton Huskies scoring 31 unanswered points to end a 31-game losing streak as they downed the Hilltops 31-22 at Griffith Stadium. Huskies kicker Jonathan Heidebrecht hit on a 52-yard field goal to put Edmonton on the board. Then Akeem Brown reeled in a 21-yard touchdown pass from Ben Gorniak just before halftime. The Huskies scored 21 unanswered second-half points against the Toppers' backups. Tailback Skylar Sargent ran for 110 yards and scored the go-ahead touchdown. In Calgary, the Rifles and the Colts played to a very rare 35-35 tie. The Colts opened up a 28-3 first quarter lead with touchdowns from Kong Tai Lu, Max Cerro, Chris Huband, and DJ Wetton as they led 28-7 at halftime. The third quarter was the Ryan Marsh show as the Winnipeg pivot threw for four touchdown passes. Matt LaRiviere, Derek Dean, Alex Vitt, and Kurt Goodrich were all on the receiving end. The four touchdown passes tied Darrell Leeson's PFC conference record of 31 touchdown passes. Marsh would pass for 393 yards, giving him 3,030 on the season, a new single-season CJFL passing yards record, surpassing Nate Cote of the Victoria Rebels, who set the record in the 2007 season. The Colts would tie it in the final two minutes as Max Cerro got his second touchdown of the day from Clayton Maskowitz. In the other PFC contest, it was the Regina Thunder finishing their year on a four-game winning streak at 5-3, down in the 2-6 Edmonton Wildcats at Clark Park by a score of 53-37. Turning to the BCFC now, it was the Langley Rams improving to 5-5 five and five with a 42-14 win over the West Shore Rebels in Victoria. Both teams finished the year 5-5. Five and five. Rams running back Kyle Albertini scored three touchdowns, while Niles Gogan scored the lone West Shore touchdown. Quinn Van Gilswick added a pair of field goals. In Kamloops, it was the Broncos ending their season on a winning note as they finished at 2-8. and eight downing the 0-10 Chilliwack Huskers by a score of 29-13. And it was the battle for first in the BCFC. Sunback Armin Bakic fumbled on the first play, and it was a sign of things to come as the Vancouver Island Raiders took first place in the BCFC with a 35-3 victory in Kelowna. Raiders quarterback Jordan Yentz completed 15 of 28 passes for 237 yards and three touchdowns, which gave him 35 on the season. That ties Nate Cote's BCFC record, which was set in the 2007 season. Michael Shaper had a pair of touchdown receptions, while Jordan Botel ran for 134 yards. Sun quarterback Jeremy Mravick completed only 12 of 31 passes for 155 yards and an interception. Turning to the Ontario Conference, it was a very rare week for the Windsor AKO Fratman as they played the London Beefeaters twice in a span of four days. On October 4th, they picked up the game from Labor Day weekend. It was the Fratman downing the Beefeaters by a score of 58-14, to Then four days later, it was the Fratman over the Beefeaters by a score of 54-14. The Fratman improved to 7-0. The Beefeaters dropped to 2-5. The Hamilton Hurricanes went to 7-0 on the season as they shut out the 0-7 Brampton Bears by a score of 27-0. In Ottawa, it was the Sooners improving to 4-3, tying with St. Leonard as they downed the Cougars by a score of 36-14. The Sooners broke open what was a tight 15-14 game in the final eight minutes as Sooners quarterback Yannick Rickley called his own number and scored on a touchdown run 
while Jonathan McNulty got his second touchdown catch of the game as the Sooners went on a 21-0 fourth quarter run. In the other contest, it was the Burlington Braves improving to 3-4, downing the Twin Cities Predators 23-17. The Braves moved to 3-4, the Predators dropped to 1-6, the Braves held leads of 14-2 and 20-5, but withstood a late rally to edge the Predators. Looking at the week ahead, the Ontario Football Conference wraps up their regular season in the coming weekend. First place is on the line in Windsor on October 15th at 1 o'clock as the Fratmen welcome the Hamilton Hurricanes in a battle of 7-0 and clubs. At Stade Bear on the 15th at 7, it will be the Cougars hosting the London Beefeaters. At 7 o'clock, it will be the Brampton Bears headed to Kitchener-Waterloo to play the Twin Cities Predators. That one kicks off at 7 o'clock. And at 5 o'clock on October 16th, the Burlington Braves host the Ottawa Sooners in a battle for playoff positions. In the Prairie Football Conference, it is semifinal Sunday as the Winnipeg Rifles head to Saskatoon to play the Hilltops at Griffith Stadium. That contest starts at noon, while at 1 o'clock at McMahon Stadium, it will be the 5-3 Regina Thunder up against the 5-2-1 Calgary Colts. In the BCFC, it is semifinal weekend in that part of the country. It is the West Shore Rebels taking on the Vancouver Island Raiders in the first semifinal at Caledonia Park at 1 p.m. on October 15th. And on the 16th, it will be the Langley Rams at the Okanagan Sun for a 1 p.m. kickoff. That is your look at Week 11 around the Canadian Junior Football League. I'm Tom Halleck.